This is the story. These are the Sheish Mitzvahs. So we started off by discussing how it's Shaykh to keep Sheish Mitzvahs all at once. So we have to go and take all of these attitudes and make one big attitude out of them and understand that that's what we're living with. And you know who did that? The Mesilla Sishar. First, I advise everyone to chazer the first parak in Mesilla Sishar just over and over and over. It's so pushit, he says it is. It's so pushit, it's so, it's so, so pushit. And so, so clear and so, so beautiful. What's life all about? See, he rephrases it a few different times. <laughs> all of life is perfecting yourself, getting rid of all the imperfection that separates between yourself and the perfect Bariyayla. What are they? The Midas. He says there, the Tachlis of life is to be Ahmed bin Isayin. The Tachlis of life is to grow. The Tachlis of life, whether it's to be stronger than the Nisayin Khalil of poverty, or stronger than the Nisayin of having. As the Mrs. Sharp points out, everything in life, it's the same thing. It's the same excitement. Whether your headache is you have and don't know what to do with it and feel like doing this and feel like doing that and you know this isn't good for you and that. So you, got, you have to control yourself and be big. Or you don't have and life is difficult. Understand it's all there is Nisoyin. It's all there is Nisoyin. Hashem can give everyone all their needs. If someone doesn't have, Shad is Hashem is throwing him his test. The goal in life that we live with is coming closer and closer to the Ravina Shalayla. That's the greatest. The process of doing that, although it calls for work and it's strenuous, it's so rewarding. It's building. The gvura of working through things. You feel so strong. You're so empowered. You feel so alive. You know what you're living for. Becoming bigger and bigger and standing up to Nisoyin. Setting goals for yourself and fulfilling them, attaining them. That's what we live for. That's what everything is. There are no accidents. There's one Bari Eilam, the Rabbi Eilam, who has one purpose, which is to give. And every situation in life that can possibly arise is another opportunity to come closer to the Rabbi Nishalayim. And that's it. And there's no other way of looking at it. And there's no other way of getting anything worthwhile out of life. There's nothing else worthwhile to attain. Everything else compared to that goal is nothingness. Nothing feels greater than being close to the Rabbi Nishalayim and being a bigger person. Get that straight. This is what everything tells you. And of course, avoid anything that could possibly weaken your clarity on the issue. Don't do anything that could possibly allow you to think otherwise. This is it. These are the Sheish Mitzvahs. And it's wonderful. And it's for real. Wonderful, it's the Abbas Hashem. And real, that's the Yira. And when you're tested, you know what it's all about. This is the package of the Sheish Mitzvahs Tmedias. To walk around with Perak Aleph of Nasila Susharim with clarity and joy. Lots and lots of simcha. If you're Makayim, the Sheish Mitzvahs Tmedias, then you're besimcha. Then you're at peace. Then you're not upset at the world when things don't go right. You don't go blaming everybody else when things don't work out the way you wanted them to. Because you understand everything works out for the best. Hashem is testing us and giving us opportunity to grow. And if we pass, we're great. We come closer to Him. The little kid thinks his, his class trip got canceled. Ah, oh, not fair. The family canceled, upset at his parents. 
It rained. Who's he upset at? Well, he's a good kid, so he won't say Hashem. He'll blame the weatherman. There's always got to be a culprit. People do this to one another, always blaming. Beit Alma Chaver is not part of the Sheish Mitzvah Medias. Beit Alma Chaver is a whole other section in Torah. But you know something? The heart of Beit Alma Chaver is really the Sheish Mitzvah. Because they understand everything's from the Rabbi Nisham. You stop blaming the whole world. You stop being an angry person. You become happy. Happy people are a machaya to be with. Happy people are not difficult. And why are you happy? Because you got a rabbinu shalom and you know what it's all about. That's the sheish mitzvahs tmidiyas. They're chiyuvim. It's not just a nice mahalach and being happy in life. They're chiyuvim. A yid's got to live like this. They're chiyuvim. Yeah. Hashem created us to be happy, whether you say you want to or not. So I'll just end with Be'etzim, the Mesil Sisharim says this. What did he say? He said, Achsi Yishar Shavoy Da'atmima. She's borrowed, the Yisavim says, Allah the Ma'chay Vosa Be'aloma. What is he starting off with? Ma'chay Vosa, what are you responsible for, whether you like it or not? This is your mission in life, whether you accept it or not. Chay Vosa Be'aloma. This is what you're responsible for. You know what the answer is? Masherenu chachamenu zalhu. Shaha odom lo inivra elo lihis aneg al Hashem. Vli honis mizif shchinosoi. Shizeu ha tainu kamiti. Vaidin ha godl. Haidin ha godl. Mikolo idainim. Whether you like it or not, you were created to get the greatest pleasure. To be close to the Rabbeinu Shalala. And there's nothing like it. Whether you like it or not. It's your chiv. It's your chiv. So yes, there's sheish mitzvahs tmidis. That you've got to be so happy. Whether you like it or not. <laughs>